Hey y'all, welcome back to Literate Liquors. I'm your host, John Hartness, and here with me for this episode, which is the same night as the last episode, and if you're paying attention to the t-shirt I'm wearing, but it is late at night at Con Carolinas, and my guest for this episode is best-selling author of the Jane Yellow Rock series, Faith Hunter. And if you're not familiar with the Jane Yellow Rock series, well, one, what the hell's wrong with you people? <laughs> Jesus, get out and read. God. It's a freaking book podcast. But anyway, the Jane Yellow Rock series, <laughs> it's my show. I can it's berate my readers, my video people, want. if I want. And if it helps them to want to buy my books, that's a good thing. I See? Think. Absolutely. <laughs> The Chain Yellow Rock series is currently a four book series with how many planned? Minimum my, of my six? My editor asked me recently um, to take Jane, to, to take, quit taking Jane out of New York. I, God, you're going to have to redo this whole thing. There are no edits there in are this no world. Edits. This is a one take you shoot, baby. You would think I had had something to drink. Um, my I am the only me. drunk on camera at the moment. <laughs> My editor wanted me to take Jane out of New, uh, quit taking Jane out of New Orleans and leave her in the city, so okay. that all of her adventures would be inside New Orleans. Um, I said, "Well, I can do that, but that limits the number of books. It will bring the series to a close at book ten." At which point, and your editor said, "The moon is great." At which point, my great. editor said, "How many can you write if you take her out?" I said, "Fifteen," and she said, "Good, we'll take her out of New Orleans." Awesome. Yes. So, so we're going to have a lot more Jane Yellow so. Rock. Yes. That's really so. good because I really enjoyed Raven Cursed, which is Thank the you. fourth book yes. where Jane, who is a vampire hunter with the baddest, baddest slogan, Have Stakes Will Travel. <laughs> you can buy that on a leather thong strap. It's not an armband, not a thong. It's it's definitely an armband. Thong is kind of the theme of the weekend here at Con <laughs> Carolinas. And you'll have to come to Con Carolinas 2013 and ask us in person because we're not going to explain this shit mm -mm. anywhere else. No. Anyway, in Ravencursed, yes. Jane, who is a skinwalking vampire hunter, yes. travels outside of the city of New Orleans yes. back to her North Carolina home. And being a North Carolina hillbilly, I really enjoyed that book and the flavor of North Carolina that it brought. You just liked the beer and the barbecue. That's the only real reason I like North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> totally agree. Yeah, totally Absolutely. agree on the beer and the barbecue, yes. <laughs> so this is a series of books. I have all four of them. I have one that is signed by my dear friend Faith, and all of the rest of them, including the signed one, which I bought again on my Kindle, because I don't really read analog books. <laughs> so most of the books that I have that are autographed, I also have purchased for my Kindle. Gotcha. Because, well, I'm a big dork. It just well, happens. But you can, you've heard about Kindle Graph, where you can get people's autographs and store them in a file on your Kindle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've discovered it. I just haven't figured out how to make it work yet. <laughs> By the time this airs, you'll be able to go to KindleGraph.com and request Faith Hunter's autograph and, on and your ebooks. Actually, you can request it now. I just don't know how to send it to you <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not a dork and I need to be. <laughs> so the whole purpose of this yes. show is to is to elevate the reading experience yes. for my viewers. So, what kind of alcohol would you suggest that people? partake of while they're enjoying the Jane Yellow Rock series. Well, I've thought long and hard about this because... That means two minutes before <laughs> I told her we would take it. <laughs> That's true. Um, Jane, being a skinwalker, has an extremely high metabolism, so alcohol has almost no effect on her whatsoever, for which we can hold a moment of silence. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, that was enough. <laughs> uh, because she is a fictional character, she doesn't deserve any more. <laughs> and so, I might have been drinking. <laughs> So what I decided was that since since Jane Yellow Rock really, really likes tea, hot tea, iced tea, almost any kind of real tea, that the drink of choice in the summertime will be Manhattan. Oh, that's iced good. Tea. Yes. And in the wintertime, you can brew yourself a nice big cup of real dark China tea and pour in some of the Manhattan, right? <laughs> there you go. And and then you're ready. You're ready to, to, uh, to enjoy um, the uh, rather violent, difficult uh, lifestyle that Jane leads. Because really, if you're living Jane's lifestyle, you damn sure need a drink. <laughs> yeah, I think she's really unhappy in the book that I, I'm 
just turned in. She's really quite unhappy that alcohol doesn't have an effect on her. I sure would be. Yes. So that's all for this episode of Literate Liquors. Go out and pick up the Jane Yellowrock series. It starts with Skinwalker. The latest book is called Raven Cursed. You can find more information about all of those on Faith's website, with this, which is faithhunter.net. Yes. And Net, I'll put links work. to all of that in the show notes. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like I ever remembered to make show notes for this. So we're going to go back to drink a little more, and I'm going to steal another guest from the party. So he'll be dressed the same, but there'll be another person sitting here. And he'll probably have a different beer. All of these things are true. And it's entirely possible that the person sitting here won't be nearly this cute. Oh, thank you. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> because David Coe's next. And David's a good looking man, but, but he ain't pretty. He ain't pretty. No. We <laughs> so, won't tell him we said that. Thank you all for joining us for Literate Liquors. And as always, remember to drink responsibly and read recklessly.